Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I went fishing the other day. I, I started canoeing up a river. I went quite a good ways. I was fishing and I wasn't getting many bites. And I just uh, was determined I was going to catch me a fish. And uh, <clears throat> so I kept a paddling upstream and kept paddling and fishing and paddling and fishing. And I was pretty far up the river, and uh, and it was getting close to dark, and uh, sure enough, boy, I landed onto a fish, and I mean, it was a big one. And so uh, I was trying to, <clears throat> I just got a little old uh, nine-foot canoe, <clears throat> he was pulling me all over the river, and uh, everything, and trying to go down deep and get around the tree limbs and everything and I was finessing him because I'm a good fisherman and working them and all that kind of stuff and next thing I know uh, the dead gum canoe tipped over and I was in fell into the river but I kept a hold of the pole I still had the pole in my right hand I was still fighting him and uh, uh, I got a life jacket I always keep my life jacket on and so uh, I was managing to fight him, uh, keep him on the right hand and swimming with the left hand and I got myself up on to the bank there and I pulled up on a tree limb, still holding on to the rod. And uh, boy, I mean, he is a fight. Oh boy. And so uh, I was fighting him there for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Finally, I landed him on the bank and I, there you go. I looked there and uh, oh, it caught me a world record. I mean, it was so big, and, and um, I look, I seen him in the uh, world record book, and uh, he was bigger than that, and so uh, I thought, dang gum, boy, this is something, I got me the world record, and then I come to my senses, and I looked around, and my canoe was gone, and there I was on the bank in the middle of nowhere, there ain't no houses up in the river where I go, and uh, so uh, when it was getting dark, like I said, <clears throat> anyway, so uh, I reached into one of my pockets of my life jacket. I keep my pistol in one and some uh, paracord in another and, and some uh, lighters and fire makers in another and little punchos and stuff like that in case I get in a situation like I was in. So uh, I got some paracord out there and I made me a little old uh, stringer and I put the fish on the stringer. So I won't save him, because I got me the world record. I mean, you know, when you get the world record fish, I mean, that's worth a lot of money. And uh, But you got to go on and get him out and have him certified, otherwise it don't count. So uh, I put him on the stringer and throwed him back in the water there and tied the stringer up to the tree. And he was fighting that thing and the tree limb was a bending and all that. I mean, he was a big fish. Uh, you ain't believing how big he was and uh, how many pounds it was, all that stuff. It's huge. And so, uh, anyhow, <clears throat> I made me a little far and uh, made me a little camp and everything. And I uh, figured, uh, well, you know, it wouldn't take too long for uh, my canoe to float on down. Somebody find it and they'd come up there looking for me, you know. So I figured I'd just spend a night there. And that way, when they come in, uh, I could show them a world record and uh, get uh, money for it and like that. So uh, I spent a night, and I didn't have nothing to eat, uh, uh, no water, nothing like that. And uh, you can live, uh, I think, uh, three days without water and uh, longer without the food. <clears throat> so uh, well, I don't know, I like the food a lot, you know. So anyway, uh, I was camping out there and waiting, and uh, that was a pretty nice little camp. And uh, it wasn't the best in the world, but I mean, no, it, was, it was all right. So uh, the next day rolled around, and uh, I'm waiting, and waiting, and waiting for somebody to come and rescue me, and uh, there ain't nobody come. So uh, I thought, well, I'll spend one more night and uh, see what what happens. And uh, so I spent the second night there, and it wasn't quite as comfortable, and uh, I was getting, you know, still getting pretty hungry, and uh, so. Uh, next morning roll around and nobody there to save me. So I said, well, I won't have to walk on out of here. And, 
and get get myself saved. So <clears throat> I packed uh, my stuff up and uh, got the fish on the stair and started walking out. And uh, I walked on out and, it, and uh, it took me a whole day and I still wasn't out of there. And I don't know, I might have been lost. I don't know what, you know, I kind of got turned around a little bit in the woods. Sometimes that happens. That's my girlfriend, she'll tell you. And uh, anyway, so uh, I spent another night in there. And I uh, got up the next morning and started walking some more. And uh, I still couldn't get out of there. And so, boy, on the fourth night rolled around, I was hungry as a oh, bear. You know what I'm saying? And I'm uh, looking at that fish. And I'm thinking, man, that's the worth, that fish worth a lot of money. But man, I sure am hungry. I had the fire going, you know, and everything. I oh, look at this sticky bone, that stick right over there, and have me some fish. And I was thinking, no, you don't want to do that, because it's a world record, and you can get a lot of money for them, and don't do it. And so, it back and forth, and back and forth in my mind, and well, long story short, I ate him. That's it. Jim Bob's out.